I just woke up 10 minutes ago and I know, I know, don't say it, I know, I look a treat. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Not really sure what I want to film about today, I just know I wanted to film. So once I know, you'll know. figured out what I'm going to talk about today. Do you know that scene in the Harry Potter movie where they go into this small but tall cylindrical room and there's like keys floating around everywhere? That's how I feel like my brain is. I have all these things and ideas and desires and wants and to haves, to learns, to do's and they're zipping around so fast that I can't grab one and focus on it. So today I'm going to talk about all the things in my brain. Hopefully it's not that scary. I live in the bush and about six months ago at uh, the beginning of summer we got our air conditioner slash heaters and I feel like because of the treat that they are we haven't had a lot of outside fires this winter. Plus we've been super busy and I've been sick and tired and all the rest. So I've woken up this morning, that's a lie, I'm not actually awake yet, and the birds are singing because it's like fresh and grey and I'm happy that it's fresh and grey and I decided it was definitely the perfect morning to sit outside by the fire. So that's what I'm going to do. And yes, I'm cheated with fire lighters because I can, but yes, I can start a fire without them. I'm aware that this video isn't all upbeat and stuff, but the realistic side is I had just woken up, I was groggy and it was all about being chilled and calm and just getting my, some stuff off my chest whilst sitting around the fire, because I could. You know those people that are like super organised, focused, motivated? I wish I was one of them. <laughs> I can be organised at work or I can plan month-long holidays overseas but for all this other stuff I struggle to find routine and balance and, and focus and do all the things I want to do. I started studying Japanese when I was in high school and then I left to have a baby and then I came back and then I couldn't keep going and then I did a TAFE course and then I stopped and then I went back to university. I ended up finishing a degree with Japanese major. But the study I did was so broken that I'm not fluent by any means. <laughs> I want to study. I want to make some sort of routine and regime where I do that, some sort of plan of attack. But I always start and I just don't find that balance, that kind of organisation. And then I stop and something else comes up or I get busy. I started knitting a woolen blanket. Uh, just basic squares that you piece together. I, I haven't finished that. I have been unwell this year after, after pancreatitis. I, I need to get back to exercising. And I don't mean full on or anything, I just mean basic exercising. But I would like to learn more about exercising and like the different exercises you can do for different reasons. I would like to learn more about like cooking healthier food, um, <clears throat> more about nutrition. I bought this Canon DSLR that I'm filming this on today and I didn't realise but I fell in love with the photography side but I'm struggling to find time or to focus on learning how to be a better photographer and learning some of those basics. And now I'm going away for five weeks to America and Canada and I still feel like I only know as much as I did 12 months ago. It's, I've taken some good photos, but I'm not sure if I know how I took them. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I want to edit old family videos. I need to edit my videos that I made uh, from Japan trip last year. I'm about to go away, so I'll want to edit those when I get back. I'm not sure where I'm finding all this time. 
I'd like to plan more time for YouTube videos. I'd like to plan more time for each video and what I'm doing as opposed to just winging it like this. I want to study the weather. I've always loved the idea of learning more about the weather and, and, and geography. I love geography as well. I did some of that at uni. And I was interested in the weather side of things before I even became interested in the fire side of things. I became a bushfire volunteer, both me and my husband did, when we moved to the country. And then I've somehow... You join because you want to learn about fire and you want to educate yourself on how to prepare and things like that and because you want to help the community. But then all of a sudden it's kind of grown into this whole other thing. And I've got this passion for it and I want to learn more about it and understand it and help. I could make this my job, you know, and it's... Your phone's always reminding you about something. And so, therefore, that kind of desire to learn more about weather and weather patterns and things like that kind of works great with fire. And I just, but I want to learn about fire and fire behavior. And I've done some courses and things like that, you know, with the volunteers, but I don't know, I just, I want to get more in depth with it. I just, there's just not enough time. I want to cook more. Like, I know I, like, I cook and I do dinners for me and my husband, but I want to try things. I want to, I'm 37 and I've never made pasta by hand, for example. I would love to like mentally put aside that time and physically, not just mentally, my brain, and do pasta by hand. I guess there's some of the bigger and more major things uh, that interest me. And, but then there's all those little, little bits and pieces too. I'd like to like give candles a go or bath bomb making or I did start collecting egg cartons to do an experiment and a video on YouTube about making fire lighters with egg cartons. I've probably got about 63 egg cartons <laughs> put aside and it's only a matter of time until my husband says, that's it. <laughs> and he's probably not wrong. Mind you, they burn really well with or without the incendiary device, so that's fine. So, yeah, there's some of the things I struggle with and I just, it's hard to talk about it in context because the last six months I've been unwell and the pancreatitis left me solid for a couple of months with like no energy and I would go to work but then come home and barely be able to lift my arms. You kind of feel really silly because you don't look sick per se, <laughs> um, but you don't feel right. I just didn't, I haven't felt right for the last six months and it's got a bit better but it's not. It's not great, um, but even before, even before I kind of struggle to, part of it's motivation and, and energy, like, you know, everyone gets tired, but um, it's choosing something, that's my issue. It's almost like I've got this fear that if I choose one thing to focus on, I'll never get back to any of the other things that I want to do. Like, I'm, I'm it's, it's FOMO. It's absolutely like the fear of missing out, I think. But the ironic thing is that because I haven't like stopped and buckled down with something, that I am missing out anyway on becoming better and more knowledgeable in a particular area or the thing that I want to do and learn about. So for the last five weeks, I have been doing an acting manager's role. And they're called a sesame. And the long version is the Community and Emergency Services Manager, which deals with any emergencies, but where I am, predominantly fire. And it's winter though, so it's, it's all good. I haven't been crazy, like, busy with fires. Crazy busy with everything else, but... And that's, that's been a challenge, but interesting and fun and fire orientated and, I, you know, I could make it my job in the future. But I've got one more week in that role. And then I have two more weeks at work in general, and then I'm away for five weeks. So I don't think I'm gonna pressure myself too hard about how I'm gonna finally fix, rectify, attend to this issue of scramble brain that I have. But I think by the time I get back from holidays, I'll have to 
sit down and kind of make some serious plans and choices because what is it that um, jack of all trades master of none <laughs> and I know there's more to the saying like I saw it on YouTube the other day but and it is good to know like a little about a lot of things but I've done that now for let's say 20 years and I regret not having mastered something before now I mean I know the things that I've maybe thought I could master 20 years ago have changed 20 years ago I'm so old that <laughs> they've changed things that I wanted to master when I mind you when I was 20 I liked the idea of mastering Japanese but that's what I mean look how long and like how busy or how intermittent like things in life are and my choice is not to kind of knuckle down um, and so yes so those things have changed but I regret not having attempted to master something earlier so so I guess watch this space I feel I feel bad I feel like a lot of youtubers like especially if they want views and maybe to make a living and money which you know if I could do that one day great it's all about what value your video is bringing to other people I feel like mine are quite self-serving <laughs> It's, they can be a bit more like this is my issue this is my problem this is what's going on with me by the way I've got this thing <laughs> it's, I don't know maybe it's selfish but I guess that I, it depends why you start YouTube in the first place but mine was just to put my mug on camera so that if something happened to me my granddaughter especially would know who her grandma boo boo was so I think at the moment self-serving is just fine, whether it's a planned s scripted video or not. <laughs> so, I don't know, if you have any tips on being organised, focused or any of that stuff, like go for it, comment down below, it, uh, I'll kind of take anything at this point. I've let my fire die out though, so I think it's time to top that up. Life's short. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Dix, what are you doing? Did you have a good sleep in puppy dreams? Hmm? Good morning. I You know you're like messing with my mojo.